Welcome to Synagogues of New York, Part 1. In this episode, we look at Jewish houses of worship in Albany. Albany is the state capital and also has a population of about 98,000 people. The first stop is at Congregation Beth Abraham Jacob, an Orthodox shul. The building shown here was constructed in 1990. There is a current campaign to remodel it. The origins of this synagogue dates back to 1838 with the formation of Bethel Synagogue. Its current name implies that there were mergers along the way, however, we do not have the information on it. Our next stop is Reformed Congregation B'nai Shalom, which is literally next door to the previous synagogue that was just showcased. One can quickly see in the overhead shot the reddish brick building that would appear below the parking lot. That is the roof to the congregation Beth Abraham Jacob Orthodox Synagogue. The rabbi of B'nai Shalom since 1985 is Donald P. Cashman. Shabbat serves are held on Friday evenings and uh, occasionally or at least once a month on a Saturday morning. The Friday night services vary in time depending on the month of the year. The congregation was formed in 1971 and moved to this location in 1979. There are two Chabad locations in Albany. One is the Chabad of the Capital District. Rabbi Yisrael Rubin is its director. He established this branch in 1979. The other Chabad house that we're aware of is called the Shabbos House. It's the Royal Chabad Jewish Student Center serving the University of Albany. This was also founded by Rabbi Rubin in 1976. The director at this location is currently Rabbi Mendel Rubin. He has been in charge since the fall of 1997. And then there's Congregation Beth Emmet, a Reformed temple. There's not much current information we can give you on the congregation because their website was hacked. But we do know that it was formed in 1885 with the merger of an Orthodox congregation Anshe Emmet, and a young reform congregation, Beth El. We believe this building was erected in the 1990s. And here is its earlier home that was constructed in 1887. And one can still see the Hebrew letters of the biblical verse etched on the portal. Our next stop is Congregation Ohav Shalom, a conservative-affiliated synagogue. Besides Shabbat service, they have a morning service every day of the week. The congregation was established in 1911 and for the next 11 years held services in homes. The building shown here was erected in 1964. It has two spiritual leaders, Daniel Ornstein and Rena Kivel. And here's another conservative synagogue, Temple Israel. David M. Elligberg is its rabbi. There are services on a daily basis, both morning and evening. Our final Albany stop takes us to another Orthodox minion called Shomre Torah, or the Shtibel. This location has services on a daily basis, both morning and evening. For whatever reason, they do not identify the rabbi or any other leader of this operation. This concludes our look at synagogues in Albany, New York. There are many, many more synagogues in the state of New York to check out. So, bye for now and see you soon.